Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at some new details and features of the rocket bike, what it is in real life, and what it could be like when it arrives very, very soon in Grand Theft Auto Online gun running. So we actually haven't gotten a lot about the rocket bike compared to some of the other vehicles like the APC and the armored and weaponized dune buggy that have had multiple screenshots and multiple different sections in the video trailer in which it appears. We only get one screenshot of the rocket bike and it appears right here. Now we do get a lot of information from here. Number one, this looks to be a brand new bike not a modification to an existing vehicle. So what I mean by that is, for example, we have the armored Tampa. That's the Tampa with just, you know, weaponized armored upgrades. This isn't like a Bati or a Hakachu or anything like that with wings and a rocket thruster on there, just like the Rocket Voltic. To me, this is a brand new bike, as I couldn't find anything like it in the game. Those also look to be new wheels. Those are probably the default ones for the Rocket Bike, which is actually pretty cool. But by far, the two biggest things that we can gather from this screenshot is the two sets of wings, the smaller wings and the front and the larger set of wings and the back and obviously the rocket thruster at the very rear of the seat. It's a little bit smaller than the one on the Rocket Voltic, which obviously makes sense because it's smaller than that car, but that is still pretty awesome and it gives us a good idea of the liftoff of this bike itself, which looks to be pretty cool. Although that photo doesn't show off the real action, we got our real good look at the rocket bike in the trailer in two quick segments. This first segment right here is really cool. It's actually these rocket bikes jumping out of a cargo plane. So to me, what this confirms is that there's gonna be a weaponized vehicle mission featuring the rocket bike that is gonna have us jumping out of a cargo plane, which is actually really cool. I don't think this means the cargo plane is coming into the game, and I don't think we're gonna be able to just do this whenever we want, but this sequence is really cool. It really reminds me of Fast and Furious. Now, we do get a couple things from these shots. Number one, we can tell that the bikes are gonna be able to have liveries put on them. I'm not sure about the customization of them. I would imagine bikes in general don't have a lot of customization, but we are definitely gonna be able to change the livery. Some of them have non-camouflage patterns, some of them do. So I'm not sure if this matters, but there are four Four of the bikes that are jumping out of the cargo plane, which is actually pretty cool. Maybe that gives us an idea of how many people are going to be doing this mission. Now, some people are saying that the boost is really short based off of the little burst of flame that came out of the back of that guy's bike, but that is actually not the booster. That is just the exhaust emitting like a fiery little puff. So they haven't used any of their boosters in this shot, so we really don't get a great idea of how they're going to work. But we do know in this shot that the wings are on there, even though they're technically not having to fly. So it doesn't look as if they're going to retract like the spoiler on the T20. They're always going to be fixed and they're always going to be out there, which is something you're going to have to keep in mind when you go around turns and corners and weaving in and out of traffic. Because if you get one of those wings caught on anything, it's going to spin you out and send you flying. So that is definitely something that you need to uh, keep an eye out on. And the last segment we get right here is actually these bikes in first person at the very end. Now, I would imagine that this is a part of the same mission because when you were dropping out of the plane, it was really close to dusk and now it is fully nighttime here. So we get a pretty cool first person view of the bike itself. It is a little bit blurry, but one thing that I notice is all like the gadgets and stuff like that. You can see uh, beyond the accelerator, you have that separate little knob that has a giant red button, green, red, white, and then gray. You can also see the speedometer in the center of the screen. Now, one thing to keep in note as we kind of go through this, watch the speedometer. They are clearly using the boost here. Watch how fast they go. So I believe they start at 46 miles an hour, and in just a matter of a couple feet, they accelerate all the way up to 70 miles per hour and above. I think the final thing was 73 miles per hour. So in literally about, I would say 10 or 15 feet, they jumped almost 27 miles per hour. That is an insane jump. And you can see all four of them here are using the boost and they end up firing the rockets at them, which is really cool. So that confirms that not only are they gonna have rocket thrusters out the back, but they're they're going to have sort of Ruiner 2000 style missiles that you can fire and this is exactly what they do. They fire it at this line of uh, mesas right here that simply do not stand a chance against these vehicles, which is really cool. Now, I don't know how to read the other knobs and dials underneath the speedometer. It's incredibly tiny and small, so I 
don't know if they're significant or not. And this last thing to me is interesting because there does not look to be a ramp here, but these bikers are seamlessly able to fly over the debris. I wonder if wheeling back on a motorcycle while using the thruster will send you sky high, kind of like the takeoff sequence for something like a jet or an airplane because they're safely able to glide over this with no problem whatsoever. And you can see there that the boost lasts for a pretty good time because when they fly by at the very end, all four of them still have their boosters going, which is really cool. So to me, this indicates that that boost time is going to be pretty long, but it's also going to give you a nice distance and a nice shot of boost to get you going as well. So that right there is the rocket bike, and it's interesting to note what this is based off of. So we know that Rockstar takes from a lot of different TV shows and movies, whether it's Fast and Furious, whether it's the Knight Rider, the Kit Car, even the Mobile Operations Center takes some references from the Knight Rider. There's so many different vehicles vehicle references from TV shows and movies that Rockstar use. Well, it seems as if this new rocket bike actually takes reference from a TV show called Street Hawk. Now, I'm sure many of you guys don't know what this is because it was probably before your time. So it was a 13 episode TV show that aired in 1985. So that was even before I was born. So this was in like the height of like the 80s, neon lights, all sorts of crazy stuff like that. Well, the premise of the show was about Jesse Mock, who was an ex motorcycle cop and his motorcycle was incredibly cool and had all sorts of gadgets and gizmos on there and it seems to be the basis of this bike. Now, the bike in the TV show did not have a rocket strap to it, did not have the ability to fly, but it simply looks like it's based off of this. So the bike in the pilot episode was the 1983 Honda XL500 trail bike, whereas the motorcycles that were used in the rest of the series were based off of the 1984 Honda XR500s. So those are the two bikes that were ultimately used. So that could give us a pretty good idea of what the rocket bike is going to be like in the game when we get it in the gun running update. Now, something else that's very, very interesting about the connection of this bike to Street Hawk has to do with the musical theme of Street Hawk. Now, you might be saying to yourself, how does that make any sense? Well, the musical theme was actually composed by the group Tangerine Dream. Now, if that name sounds familiar to you, well, that's because Tangerine Dream is responsible for the musical score for Grand Theft Auto V. So Tangerine Dream did the music intro for Street Hawk and has done the musical score for Grand Theft Auto V. Can you see the connection there? Maybe the guys at Tangerine Dream dropped Rockstar uh, a little bit of a hint, or maybe they told him, hey, if you're looking for a cool vehicle, maybe this is something to consider. We worked on this in some degree for this show. So I think that connection there is very interesting. And I haven't heard anyone talking about this when it comes to the rocket bike and where it might have came from. So I definitely don't want to put on the tinfoil hat too much, but I definitely think there is a strong resemblance from the Street Hawk motorcycle and the rocket bike that we're going to be seeing in just a couple of hours in the gun running update. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. What do you think of this bike? Are you excited for it? Do you think it's just another version of the Rocket Voltic? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. Are you going to be buying this vehicle? If you did go and enjoy this one, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.